Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share some great Power BI resources with you and the best part is that they are totally free. I have added links to each resource I recommend in the description and also the order in which I would go through it to learn the best. This will not teach you everything that is possible to do in Power BI but that is also not the point. What I'm trying to do here is share some great resources that I know if you learn these you will be able to create some value. Let's jump over to my laptop and take a sneak peek at the different resources and why I recommend them. Okay so let's start with the first one on the list. Now like I said these are just some of the ones I recommend. It's not going to teach you everything that is possible in Power BI, also not the purpose. I want to share some good sources. I want to share the order in which I think you should do it. And then you have to decide a little bit where you go from there. Either way, the first one is the ultimate beginner's guide to Power BI over at Enterprise DNA. If you don't know Enterprise DNA, it's a great resource for Power BI. They also do Power Platform and other, um, other things. Um, a lot of the stuff is free. They have a great forum. I think it's worth checking out. Now, just for the sake of you know, the video, let's just take a look at it. Um, you know, here's what you'll get with the course. Three hours of video content, some data, some quizzes, um, some examples of some reports. Um, what I like about Enterprise DNA is I think they focus on a lot of the really essential, really good stuff to know. Um, so, you know, there's some summary of some key uh, key features. But if you go down here, you can see the course um, curriculum. Um, introduction, you know, what is DAX? It goes into, the, into DAX. DAX is very important to understand in Power BI. It stands for Data Analysis Expressions. Um, the query, query editor, some transformations, date table, um, advanced transformations, you know, data modeling, DAX calculations, reports. Um, online service. It takes you through a lot of the key elements and I feel like it filters away a lot of the noise that you might come into um, into other places. I haven't seen this one in a while um, but I remember that it is done on an older version of Power BI but I still think it has a lot of value. I think it gives a great overall introduction, uh, introduction to Power BI. Um, so I would recommend you know start out there. You will definitely not lose out by, by spending those three hours. If we then keep going, we're gonna jump over to another place called SQL BI. Um, these guys are very well known for their DAX um, knowledge and their articles and uh, all the stuff that they share about DAX. Um, I think data modeling is something that's very use useful to know if you are a data analyst or a data professional in general. So my thought was that, you know, you go into an enterprise DNA, you do the beginner's guide to Power BI. Then you take, a, you take a step back before you jump more into DAX just to understand data modeling. I think data modeling, it deserves a little bit of um, that extra focus and care. Once again, you cannot go wrong by, by powering through this course and, and, and just, you know, learning what, whatever you can pick up. Um, it, it holds a lot of uh, modules, you know, there are star schemas, different scenarios. Um, um, it goes through a lot of, you know, it, you can see a header, detail tables, fact tables, uh, multiple dates. There are just some concepts that are just very useful to know if you want to work with data. So I think this one is also really good. And these guys are very solid. If you don't take this, you should still take a note of SQL BI. Check out some of the, the articles, videos, um, and some of the other training that they offer. A lot of really good stuff. Um, while we are at over at SQL BI, I want to pivot over to a topic which they are probably you know the most known for, and that is their DAX course. Once again, DAX stands for Data Analysis Expressions, which is the the, the computation language in Power BI. So you know if a, if a manager tells you, hey. I want this report, he wants you to calculate something, most likely you would write that in DAX. And, uh, and DAX is difficult, it's not that easy. Um, so it takes time to learn it, you have to look at it from a theoretical point of view and you also have to practice and, and apply it. With this course they go through a lot of the most um, used um, DAX functions and there's a lot of examples, a lot of you know you can try and you can kind of follow along, you know, there's some, some video, video lectures, sample material, um, and it's just overall very well structured um, in, in terms of a course. They, they are really good. Um, the last one that I've added from SQL BI, a, a course on DAX tools. I 
This one is a little bit, you know, up to you. But if you want to get really good at DAX and you really want to understand it, it's good to have an understanding of some of the tools that you can use to make sure you, you really understand how DAX works, how you can, how you can optimize it, how you can tweak it. Um, you can see here it says the DAX video course teaches you how to use three popular tools to write and optimize DAX. DAX Studio, Birdie Pack Analyzer, and Analyze in Excel for Power BI Desktop. All these tools are free and open source. When you reach a certain level of experience and challenges as you work in Power BI, these tools become very useful. So at some point, you probably have to look into them anyways. If you have the time, you have the dedication, and you you know I want to get good at Power BI, I want to, you know, I want to learn something which is very essential in Power BI, DAX, then these tools are a, uh, a must to know. Um, so these are the three, um, you know, resources that I have listed if you want to learn Power BI in 2023. Like I said before, there's a lot more stuff you can learn. But these ones will introduce you to a lot of concepts, knowledge, things you will know that I, I can definitely say that if you can master and understand what they go through here, you will be able to, to create value at a company, either as a new starter or something. You know, you learn more and more about the business, you learn how they work. And then at some point, you know, you get into Power BI. A lot of these concepts will be very useful. Data modeling, super useful knowing how to write DAX, very, very useful. And of course, with the tools, how do you troubleshoot it and optimize it so that your DAX expressions works as good as possible in the reports you create. Those are the resources that I recommend. Do you have some awesome free Power BI resources? Then feel free to share those in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. That always helps more people finding the video. And if you want to learn more about Power BI or data analysis, then check out some of the other videos that you can see on the screen right now.